Minix. Minix is famous within the alternative OS world for two reasons. First, it was a platform on which Linux Tovars developed the first version of Linux. And secondly, its code is covered extensively in operating systems, design and implementation, a book written by the Minix author. While the first versions of Minix were designed exclusively as learning tools, Minix 3 expands the boundaries even further with low spec and embedded machines being the main hardware target. Compared to Linux and the BSD family, it's not the most future-rich Unix flavor on the planet, but as a code and design resource for OS development, it's fantastic. Plan 9 After Unix had flown out of the Bell Labs nest in the 1970s, the developers kickstarted a new research project to scratch their programming itches. Plan 9 aimed to expand beyond the Unix philosophy of representing almost everything as a file. In Plan 9, even network connections and the user interface can be manipulated via the file system. Additionally, a communication protocol named 9P was developed to allow Plan 9 machines to share resources. Ultimately, Plan 9 hasn't achieved anywhere near the same level of success as Unix. However, it's still undergoing development and is a source of new ideas for OS programmers. The desktop feels quickly old-fashioned today, somewhat akin to the old-school X setups of the late 80s. But then, it's designed primarily to satisfy the needs of Plan 9 programmers. This is not an OS that's going to appeal to many users, but it's an interesting piece of research. Syllable Originally known as AVOS, the project development was forked after the lead developer effectively abandoned his work and Syllable was born. After booting from the live CD, you can log in as the user root with password root. The desktop is playfully colorful and clean. Click the S button at the top left to peruse the installed software. There's the usual collection of desktop utilities, including a media player and a WebKit-based browser. It's impressively fast and has the potential to be an excellent desktop OS for breathing new life into older machines. At version 0.6.6, Syllable is one of the most advanced alternative OSs around. Unfortunately though, there's a distinct lack of native software and development on the project has slowed down in the last couple of years. If you're interested in helping out an OS project, a syllable small but friendly team is a good place to start.